I'm Vanessa. I'm Travis. And we are late to the party, and we have another episode of Better, Better Late, late than, than Never. BLTN. Kids sports movies. So, Travis, what's up to bat? Well, well, clever, because this one actually is a baseball-related one. I assumed. <laughs> Pretty much all of them. Uh, most kids' movies are. This one we've actually done before, in a way. Okay. Uh, back in the day, if you were to look to older videos of Better Late Than Ever, yeah. we did the original movies to ones that have been remade. Okay. Yeah, I remember. So in the lines of kids' sports movies, this is what we did. What the hell are you guys doing? Uh, yeah. We had an angel! Angels in the outfield. Okay. <laughs> but I'll let me give you some information. Mr. Knox! Right Mr. Knox, we got one! Uh, this was released July 15th of 1994. Alright. It, it was uh, cost $31 million to make, but made $50.2 million at the box office. Okay. Massive, massive cast. If Huge. you guys are really yeah. like Adrian Big Brody, cat. Matthew McConaughey, Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Tony Danza. Uh -huh. Tessa Gordon Levitt. Dylan McDermott. <laughs> or so, Domer Baroni, the other one. Yeah, yeah, it's the other one. Yeah, it's yeah. Dylan McDermott and Dolmet Maroney. It was Dolmet Maroney. <laughs> Let's watch this trailer and see if you would watch the remake of Angels in the Outfield. I did. I saw it at the drive-in. A lot at of movies drive at the drive-in. Dad, um, I forgot about Caribbean. We're going to be a family again. A boy searching for a future. I'd say when the Angels win the pennant. And Williams and Norton took him too serious, kid. The pitch is blown. A okay. coach running from his past. Are you cracking up, or is this a repeat of Cincinnati? No, no, it's nothing like that. And a team that's their only prayer. We can never go back to Cincinnati. Oh, talent. They don't have it. God. If there is a God, maybe you could help him win a little. Ryan? I'd really yeah. like Deke. Deke. <laughs> a family. Yeah, look at that. And Williams, <laughs> Holy cow! How do you do that? Two angels came out of the sky and they picked up Ed Williams. Great. A psycho kid. Oh, please <laughs> don't drink me. No, 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 no. Just call me Cal. No one can see me or hear me but you. That's the ending right there. Yes! I must have been those chili dogs I ate before the game. You really do see something, don't you? Yeah! Make some kind of signal. I'll go like that, okay? And we go again. So much fun. Yeah, David. I love David. I'm relieving you of your management responsibility. Yes. Somewhere between losing hope. You can't go through life thinking everyone you meet will one day let you down. And finding the courage. You can call it angels. I won't play for anyone but George Knox. You can call it faith. That goes for me too. You can call it whatever you like. They gave the world something to believe in. <laughs> I got nothing left. Hey, you got an angel with you right now. Danny Don't Glover. Tony Danza. Even though you can't see us. And Christopher Lloyd. Always watching. Disney's Angels in the Outfield. Followed up by Angels in the Infield and Angels uh. in the... End zone. Yeah, there were this two of them. That's the best one. Yeah, so. Christopher Lloyd was actually in one of them, and then uh, Patrick Warburton was in Angels in the Infield <laughs> as well. Uh, but yes, Angels in the Outfield. Did you see it based on this trailer? Yes, I, I did. Yeah, it was a big uh, family film, and again, we saw it at the drive-in. We watched all these movies. Uh, at the drive-in around that time because we would pack all the kids in the car, hide them in the trunk, and then get in for cheap. But it's very Mexican of you. <laughs> and we were. We are. We did the same thing. Yeah, right. we are. Yeah. But yeah, Angels in the Outfield. I remember it was just a really good, feel-good movie. It was very family-friendly, and it was just something that made you really happy to see. Yeah. And it was sad, too. I mean, it was kind of depressing as well because, I mean, these orphan Deadbeat kids. dad. Yeah. Didn't show up to even the court hearing for him. Yeah, it even when they were going to win the pen and he's like, you know, I was just saying that. It's not how it is. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. 
But Coach Knox comes in to save the day, and that's the thing, too, is you get to see that evolution of the coach as well. Somebody who's very angry and... Yeah, but he's, he's angry and he's cussing all the time, and they get him to kind of change his ways, and he adopts him, and he adopts the little kid. Like, it can happen. It can happen. But it, it, a lot of stars in this. Like, How do you said. take your coffee? With sugar. In cups. No, in that's cups. what it was. In, in cups. cups. <laughs> but yes, uh, David as well, being the one that kind of has to attend to them for their, right. all their needs. And I love him. He uh, he, he was a, a great part of it, too. You see that evolution to where he buys into it. Everyone eventually oh, buys into it. it. You yeah. saw the trailer, the whole crowd, yeah. the whole stadium was doing it. Yeah. Um, this is a great film. Like, it's one of those, it was the early 90s. Like, good. Was doing. It good was, feel, good Good film movie. Good feel, feel good. good. Feel, good, feel movie. good movie. There we go. Uh, I mean, with Mighty Ducks, <laughs> Disney bought and created the team for this. Disney owned a huge portion of the Angels when this movie came out, so it was a win-win for them because you get excited for the movie, you're going to go see an Angels game. So it made sense for that. With the original movie, the the, the, the Old team school, yeah. wasn't the Angels, it was the Pirates. Which I thought was funny because in Rookie of the Year... Right. He's the Pirates. He's wearing the Pirates jersey and yeah. he ends up playing for the Chicago Cubs. What was your experience with Angels in the outfield? Uh, my experience was that I, I watched it a couple times and it was during that time that I was more so about Sandlot. So I never really got so much into Angels in the outfield. I did enjoy the movie and I enjoyed the story and it was a lot of fun because of... Uh, it was just fun seeing the angels trying to like every time they played the game and you wanted you're like okay what are the angels yeah. gonna do this time to help them Adrian so, Brody yeah. and he's getting the massage <laughs> although I just realized these angels are cheating they are cheating they're they legitimately <laughs> cheating <laughs> sons of guns hey well they prayed harder so that's how it works when yeah. it comes to sports apparently but either way thank you guys for watching our reaction to angels in the outfield the remake. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. Do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking new joints. You know where they are. Kick the party, fill the party, keep the party going at our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go. We'll be heading into a whole new theme pretty shortly, Travis. Oh, yes. And as well as a possible visit to a studio of Universal, perhaps, here in the next few weeks. During the October era. Oh, yeah, that yeah. sounds great. Yeah. But guys, Keep kick, your eyes open. Yeah, send out your, inf your, your recommendations when it comes to anything of an October-ish nature. No, no, not october station. I have a very strict theme I want this time around. So do your work. I want movies in Halloween that are based around the Halloween date or the Halloween itself. Halloween holiday. No, no horror movies just because they're, you know, scary and you'd watch them. Although Halloween. there are certain ones that kind of fit into both. True, Maybe. but it has to take place on Halloween. I want it to take place on Halloween or be based around the Halloween. So days. recommend it down here. Thank you guys so much. I will so give much. you guys one. Hocus Pocus. Damn you like son that. of a bitch. Why would you give it to everybody? Because this one, I don't want to I wanted to be surprised because I just, love, just I love Hocus Pocus. All right, guys. Thank well, you that, very now, much. Well, that's two. So thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye.